Hi everyone and welcome to this new episode of Revit Programming using Python and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to create few sheets using uh, the Revit API so let's start so first of all I'm going to take a look at this sheet and get the type ID of it so here it is double four twenty eight and I'm going to use this uh, this ID in my script. So now I'm going to open this template that I have in here. And as you can see, I have already imported some libraries. So let's start by creating sheet names. So I'm going to say sheet names equal to and I'm going to have a list of uh, name strings. I'm going to call the first one sheet um, one. And sheet two, I'm going to create just two. And then I'm going to need sheet numbers. So let's create them or let's assign them to this variable again a list in which again are strings so I'm going to say the first one is a 01 for example and the second one is going to be a 02 and close it now I'm going to create a sheet list in which I'm going to uh, put all my all my sheets so let's say this is the sheet list and it's going to be an empty list for now. Now let's see what are we going to do. Uh, we're going to create a for loop that goes through uh, through the length of uh, this list for example or this one and as you can see here I have two items so I'm going to create a loop that creates sheets for two items and this is done this way so I'm going to say for num which is number in range and then open the bracket and as I said I'm going to, to use the length of, uh, of the list and inside the length I'm going to use one of these they are both the same in terms of uh, length so then close the bracket twice and then enter and then tab now we need to create the sheet itself. So let's go to the Revit, to the Revit API and type view sheet class and go to members, scroll down until you find this create. It takes uh, the document and the element ID as, as uh, arguments. So we're going to use the simple way to do this. So let's type view the capital letter here so view sheet dot create let's go back so dot create and then I'm going to pass the arguments which are the document I have it right here and the second argument is the element ID that we we looked up before so it was 45, 28, if I remember. And this is it, how to create a sheet. Now let's go to the second line and give this a name using this uh, property. So if we go back to the view sheet class and you scroll down to properties, you will find that it has in n it has a property called name so this is it and it has another property called um sheet number we have to find it in here yes so sheet number so we need a number and a name as we said in our script we assigned them beforehand to these two variables so the name 
is here. And I'm going to say that this is the, this one, this variable right here. So sheet names and then uh, the, the, the number that is in here. And then let's go to the second property, which is the, the sheet number. And assign it to sheet numbers from here. So it is just sheet and numbers. And again, num. So this is it. It's going, this, this loop is going to go through the length of uh, the sheet numbers or sheet names. As I said before, it's the same. They have both two items and it's going to create the same amount of items that, that I have in here, uh, the same amount of sheets. So this is the syntax that we need to create a sheet and then we give it a name. It's going to take a name from here. When it goes uh, with the uh, with the first item with the num when it's uh, the item zero It's going to go to the item zero in sheet names here So it's going to take this one and assign it to the first sheet and this one and assign it as sheet number For the first sheet and then it goes again because it's a for loop it goes again and create another sheet using uh, num which is index one so it goes to names here, index one, and numbers index one again, and create uh, two sheets because we have just uh, two sheets in our list. So now we need to add everything to the list that we have created in here. So let's, it's underscore LST equal, oh no, it's not equal, it's append. I'm going to append this. Uh, I'm going to append this uh, sheet that I, I created in here. So I created two, basically. And our script is almost ready. We just need to add one more thing, which is uh, the start transaction. So t dot because it's t in here. So I don't need to write this again. T dot start. And here, t dot commit. So let's go to our rivet. So now that we are done, let's click on run. And as you can see here, a01 and a02, sheet one and sheet two are created. So let's take a look at them. So this is the first one, this is the name in here, and the number in here. So this was it for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.